the first current event is about Steven Espinoza and Dana White saying on his Instagram, Dana White goes, thank you so much, Brooklyn, New York. This is right after the Brooklyn trip. Uh, so sorry about the shit show. It's not my show or it would be run way different. Thanks for always supporting. So he was talking about the production that Espinosa did. Mm-hmm. And then Espinosa came back with saying, uh, Dana has come in with a very strong idea about how he likes a press conference run. From our perspective, the way he runs press conferences de-emphasizes the fighters. It emphasizes Dana. And then Espinosa saying their their mode of operation is different. They well, no, the this is huge here. He puts the way Dana runs press conferences de-emphasizes the fighters. Mm-hmm. It emphasizes Dana. Yeah. That's backwards. I understand that might be great for the UFC brand, but our goal strategically and philosophically is to try to place the fighters at the center of the promotion. Mm-hmm. That's very important. That, that, that those are key words there. I, I mean, I listen. Espinosa is 100% correct here. To say this is a shit show, I've been part of these UFC press conferences, man. What what makes this a shit show? I guess there's some mic issues. I've seen that with the UFC. I've never seen a better press conference than that Toronto press conference ever in my life. That is the best spectacle I've ever seen out of any sports press conference ever, ever, ever. Um, and he's right when he says, you know, Dana emphasizes him, right? Dana's up. He's the center focus center. And that's great. You know, Dana's the P. Diddy of promoters. He wants to be all up in the video. You, you know, uh, yeah. freaking Espinosa, Suge Knight. Like, you don't want, you don't want your, uh, you don't want your agent all up in your fucking videos and your rap songs. Sign with death row. Like, that's what's going on. Espinosa's death row. <laughs> he, he stays out of it. He don't want to be part. He didn't want to be up there. He lets the fighters do his thing. I agree with them there. I and also I but I don't know why why Dana would put shit show. You know, I, I, I don't know the relationship between Espinosa and Dana. I don't think it's you know, I don't think they're they got a timeshare and you know, Bora Bora or anything like that, but um He did say New York. It was after Dana did this after New York, so Yeah, but he said so sorry about the shit show. Yeah. Uh I hate to tell you a little bit of that shit show falls on falls on your hands and in, in Conor McGregor. Like a, a lot of that stuff. The other, the other thing with the shit show is um, the the fighters were over an hour late. So they you were know. the reason why that it was super late. The fighters. The fighters. They weren't to the arena. They didn't come for a while. Um, they, they, there's no need for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, Showtime's, Showtime's the one, you know, captaining the ship. You know, there's, there's just no need for it. It, it. it doesn't make sense to me. It makes zero sense to me because the the production they put on, especially in the short amount of time, I, I what do you want, Dana? You want uh you want a John Jones DC thing where they're pushing each other and fighting each other? You think that's gonna sell this fight? Probably not. Actually, probably cheapens it. So you, so you want so you want them to fight, um or or maybe you want Connor throwing uh soda cans. You want them throwing soda cans at each other so you can promote it on replay over and over. Is that what you want? What do we mean by shit show? You mean shit show with the Diaz and Jake Shield and the scrap pack throwing waters and cans across, and then someone files a lawsuit because they got hit in the face? Mm-hmm. Define shit show. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just curious. Or maybe when when you did the the big one for the world announcement and you got uh, Chiesa, Michael Chiesa, 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 and Kevin Lee punch each other. Is that what you want? Is that the shit show? Or is it the shit show? Uh, at the UFC retreat when a girl was cyberbullying one of your fighters, female fighter cyborg, and she socks her in the face and goes on TMZ. Is that the shit show we're looking for? I don't, they explained shit show to me. I thought it was a great uh, promotion. I thought uh, Espinosa runs a tight ship. I think they're selling the show this fight. I think they could have done without Brooklyn and London. I think they could have just done two cities and still be fine. Um, but that wasn't the plan. So th- this is what you get. And, you know, it's tough for these guys to come up with new material. Listen, that's a, that's a high level comic to come up with new material four nights in a row that sells that 15 million people are watching. You got you got some tough, sh- you know, a tough task on your hands. So what we are asking of these guys is a lot is a lot, lot, you know, um, and there's going to be shit shows. Cause again, this is on scripted. A lot of it's on scripted. These guys, this you know, entertaining the masses as far as trash talking. Yeah, they're good at it. Four nights in a row. It's tough, man. You know, I I don't know. 
I guess Jerry Seinfeld and fucking Bill Burr could do it four nights in a row and come up with new material, especially a guy like Bill Burr. You got, you know, Tony Hinchcliffe roasting people, come up with new material all the time. It's a, it's a task, man. These guys don't have writers. I told Espinosa when Connor talked shit to him, he should, I'll, I'll help him write some shit so when he gets on mic the next day, <laughs> you know? I said, you should embrace the full heel. Rip your shirt off, be all oiled up like Vince McMahon. Like, hilarious. bring it! Be sick. <laughs> be sick. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with shit show. I mean, they've had their mic problems, if that's what you mean by shit show. But the the shit show has been the fighters showing up late that killed them. And you know, when they showing up late, and listen, I learned this the hard way with fighting the kid. We did a live show one time, and it was late, not our fault, but because of the venue, something happened. Mm -hmm. So the crowd was sitting there an extra hour. Different vibe, man. Kills it because people they get there, they have excitement, they have their drinks, they're watching the show. Then you get out, you get there. And you're supposed to start, an hour goes by. It gets hot. You finish your drink. You stand back up. You're a little lazy. You're unfocused. You come out. That you haven't, don't really have the energy anymore. Fucks the whole vibe up. That's what happened in Brooklyn. It was a combination of, it was the perfect storm for that. It was the combination of the crowd being restless. And then you got Dougie Fresh doing his thing. You got all that. And then these guys not having their best material. It wasn't that their material was horrible. I thought Floyd making it rain. Um, Connor had some good lines. Connor's outfit was amazing. His intro was amazing. Bringing the guys on the stage, I wish they were dressed a little better. better. That bothered me. You know, Connor's such a detailed guy. His entourage should have been more detailed. Um, but there's some good aspects of it. And listen, when all this is said and done, what's going to happen is Showtime's going to create the best of, and that's all you're going to remember. Yeah, and a week from now we're, you're gonna watch this and say uh, world press tour, and you just have the best stuff, and that's all we care about. I mean, the 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 average fan isn't tuning in to however long. How long are these? An hour, probably an hour. So let's say an hour. They're not turning a four hours of press conference coverage. The average fan, mm -hmm. although they're getting you know millions of views. I'm just saying, night after night, it, it's gonna be tough to have the same crowd. I think it might be different crowds. Obviously, a lot of the same, but. You, this isn't hurting the fight. It actually sells the fight even more. 